So St. John, today in that first reading, uh, says, Children, remain in him, remain in Christ. Let me offer a way for you and for families to remain in Christ. That also responds to the question that was asked to John the Baptist. Who are you and why do you baptize? Uh, this past July, more than 40 uh, internationally recognized social scientists, theologians, and pastoral ministers gathered at the University of Notre Dame to explore four critical questions about the renewal of the Catholic family. The questions are, are Catholic families called to relate differently to each other than their non-Catholic counterparts? And what does an authentic family spirituality look like for Catholics? And how can Catholics more effectively practice the faith so that their children become intentional disciples at home and raise the next generation of intentional disciples? And how can we equip Catholic families to be the primary outposts of spreading the good news and positive social change that the church teaching says we are meant to be? So for three days, these experts uh, shared their research and insights. They were wonderful. But my favorite, uh, my favorite uh, presentation uh, was by uh, Dr. Gregory Popchek and his wife, Lisa. And they shared uh, their, uh, they explored some new ground that relates directly to the anointing with chrism at baptism. So every single one of us was anointed at, at baptism. After being baptized with water and the Holy Spirit into Christ, then you're anointed a priest, a prophet, and a king. So they showed how uh, that baptism allows, offers an ongoing threefold uh, part, uh, way for families to be priest, prophet, and king. The, and they speak of rites, of rituals, of things that we repeat over and over again. So the right of relationship offers formation for the family in the common priesthood, the, the priesthood of the faithful. Generally speaking, a priest offers sacrifices that unite heaven and earth and makes uh, the common everyday uh, things holy and facilitates a graceful transformation in God's people. When husbands and wives, parents and children, strive to attend to each other with that same sacrificial love, priestly love that flows from God's own heart, they create strong, grace-filled family bonds that allow them to encounter God's love in the home, transforming everyday acts of family life into, as St. Teresa of Lisieux says, a little way of holiness. And it facilitates the formation of healthy, whole, and holy people. So that's, that's the first one, the, the priestly. And then the second one, a, a rite, a ritual of connection, offers formation in the prophetic mission of baptism. A prophet calls people to live and act in a godly way. When Christian families create strong rituals that allow them faithfully and consistently to pray, to work, to talk, and to play together. They proclaim through their words and their actions how Christians are meant to relate to virtually every activity of a human person that we could engage in. So priest, prophet, and now uh, the royal, the king, kingly role, the right of reaching out offers formation in the royal mission of baptism. This royal mission is about using the gifts that we've been given to bless others. When families serve their parish and community, especially when they serve together as a family, they bring Christ's love to the world in powerful ways that can melt hearts, that can foster change for the better and lead others to God. So this domestic church life of priest, prophet, and king is a liturgy over which the common priesthood of the laity presides in the home, the domestic church. It represents the primary way lay people through the common priesthood consecrate the world to Christ. So how about that as a way to remain in him in the coming year, to be a priest, a prophet, and a king in your family and in your personal life?